I'm Balaji Prakash and I'm a professor at the Biological Science and Bioengineering Department at IIT Kanpur. Uh, this the question that has been asked is about the accuracy of the models that uh, people usually come up use, uh, using bioinformatic techniques, homology modeling and other techniques. Well, like mo first thing what we have to remember is that uh, it is a prediction. So if it is a prediction, that means there are things that will uh, there will be things that you can rely upon and there will be things that are on the grey zone. So for instance, I will give you an example. You could use uh, the structure of let us say a protein A from an organism uh, and it will be in the three dimensional structure. You are using that three dimensional structure to model using homology modeling the structure of another, the same protein from another species. Okay, so. If the, if the homology is very high, it is likely that most of the features will be conserved. But what will differ is really tiny things. So what we have of, often observed is that yes, to a large extent, so if you take the structure, for example, the secondary structures, most of the active sites, most of these things are, are uh, conserved and you can uh, you know, uh, confidently predict this region. But what you cannot predict is the small variation between in the same protein from one organism versus another organ that means between homologs so as the similarity between the homologs diminishes the differences will increase so it will be those differences that you will actually not be able to predict accurately sometimes those differences may be important in regulating the function of the molecule this we have seen that means tailoring the function of a molecule to that species that adaptation, that tailoring, that part you will not be able to predict accurately. But largely, grossly, what is this molecule doing? It is actually, let us say, doing an enzymatic reaction, taking A and B to give rise to C. That it can certainly do, very clear. But what it cannot do is how, how it is regulating that process, which might be very specific to one species, which is absent completely in another species. So these are the things that you cannot predict. So there will be a grey zone where you cannot predict, but gross features, large features, yes, you can predict if the homology is high.